The topic of this video is graphing domain restricted functions. Let's look at a problem. Graph f of x equals 7 if x is not equal to 4. Now I've included this problem for this reason right here, x is not equal to 4. This is a little bit tricky and it causes students to stumble from time to time, so it's my hope that by watching this video you will avoid that fate. All right, let's go through the steps. So the first thing is to create the whole graph of f of x equals 7. This is our constant function. Constant function says when a function, when an input x is put into an out, uh, excuse me, when an input x is put into a machine named f, the output is always 7. It doesn't matter what x is. So if x is negative 2, the output is 7. If x is negative 1, the output is 7, 7, 7, 7. So when I make my entire graph, I'm going to make it like this. I'm going to make a square centered at the origin to establish the scale of my drawing and then erase the corners. Now I'll keep my spaces equal. So if from 0 to 1 is there, then from 1 to 2 must be here, and 3 must be here, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. So this is 8, this is 6, 7 is in the middle. 2 would be here, negative 2 would be here, and let's plot our points. All right, negative 2 comma 7, that would be here. Negative 1 comma 7 would be here. 0 comma 7, 1 comma 7, 2 comma 7. The constant function is a straight line. Lines, line segments, and rays must be drawn with a straight edge. So get out your straight edge and graph this line using your straight edge. Remember that can be an actual straight edge or it can be an ID card or an insurance card or your gym membership card or a school ID card. Lots of choices for straight edges. Okay, so that was step one, create the entire graph. You should be able to do that in approximately two minutes or less. Step two, cut vertically and keep the relevant pieces. So we look after the word if for any numbers. The only number we see is four, and so we're gonna cut vertically at four, which means I need to put a few more marks over here. So let's do three and four, negative three and negative four. All right, so I'm going to cut vertically at four. So here we go, a vertical cut. And then I have to decide what part of the, of the graph do I want to keep, the left side or the right side or some combination. Well, I have to understand what the inequality is telling me to know what part to keep. I want to keep the part where x is not 4. So if I look to the left, I see that x comprises numbers like 3, 2, 1. Those are all not 4. So I want to keep this side of the dashed line. And when I look over here to the right, I see numbers like 5 and 6 and 7. Those are also not 4, so I want to keep the right side as well. So for this graph, interestingly, we may cut it to put a hole in our graph, but we keep both sides of the cut. All right, that brings us to step three. Place dots where the curve meets the cut. So the number in our if statement is 4, and it's next to the symbol inequality. So not equal to shows up here. So I'm going to use a open dot where the curve meets the cut. So an open dot at 4 where the blue curve meets the red cut. That means right here is where my open dot goes. All right, we have now completed this problem. This is the final answer. It's this blue line with a little hole in it. Right? It's the constant function, y equals 7, a horizontal line at a height of 7, and we use all parts of it except the part where x is 4 because it says if x is not equal to 4. If x is not equal to 4, we use this line. If x is equal to 4, we don't know what to do, so we just put a hole here. All right, that's the end of this graph.